yo guys what's up it's your boy ver we are back with another video guide today today it's going to be all about the new addition to bdo the black shrine or boss rush content we're going to talk about how you get started what you can look to earn from this and why you should do it in the first place i hope you guys enjoyed the video For those of you that don't know what the Black Shrine system is, it was a new system that was implemented with the Land of the Morning Light in Black Desert Online. Now, unlike traditional regions, this region is going to offer 10 unique bosses that you can challenge and defeat. In order to unlock these bosses, you first need to go through the Land of the Morning Light storyline. The quest line can be quite long, but I promise you these bosses are worth it. It's also important to go through the storyline not only to unlock the bosses, but you also unlock your light orbs, which is used for the aura system. So what are light orbs? How do I get more of them? I need them. I'm stuck on a boss. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your quest log. You can do this by just hitting O. Under the suggested tab, you could scroll down to combat level 56, light orb, land of the morning light. This is going to showcase the five different quests that will get you those light orbs. Like I said, these first three here are just going to be from going through the main storyline. These last two are going to be from defeating a boss on Calamity level three and then defeating a boss on Calamity level five. After you've completed all five of these, you should have your max level of light orbs. So now let's say you obtained your first three light orbs and you're ready to fight the boss. First of all, you're going to pick what boss you want to fight. So for example, on this one, I'm just going to do Golden Pig King. Now it's really simple and really easy to get to the boss. All you have to do is press this down arrow and it will automatically give you the auto path option to get straight to the boss. So Golden Pig King, that's where we want to head. We set up the auto path, hop on the horse and we're on our way. All right, here we are. We made it the Golden Pig King. Now at the start of every intro, there's going to be a really cool video, a little entrance from the bosses. I'm going to skip it for now. You know, let it be a surprise for you guys once you get here. Okay. That hurts a little bit. All right. Now, if you go into a boss fight and this is exactly what happens to you, you might want to do a couple things first. All right. So the fight didn't go too well. Something you could do is get some buffs. The first thing we're going to do is we headed to Dalbal Village here in the northeast part of the region. We're going to go ahead and talk to Jumsoon. Jumsoon is going to offer us what we like to call church buffs. Here, this is where you receive them. Typically for the boss rush, I get the protection and the attack. It's going to give you a little more survivability as well as a little bit more damage. But in some of the boss fights, especially the harder level ones, they can go a long way. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and throw down our tent. From the tent, we're going to grab our villa buff. Again, it's not a ton of stats, but HP is the big thing we're looking for in terms of survivability. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up as well. So now we got three buffs. The next thing we're going to talk about is meal, which one you should pick and why. Personally, I usually go for exquisite. I find that in a lot of the fights, I'm just trying to push that extra damage. And so having the back attack and the crit hit damage on the exquisite, for me, it goes a long way. You also have the simple Kron as an option. This again is going to give you a little bit more survivability compared to the exquisite. But personally, I'd recommend the exquisite. So we're going to go ahead and pop that. In terms of active buffs or elixirs, when you're getting used to a boss or learning the mechanics, I wouldn't recommend popping anything too expensive. Once you get a little bit more comfortable with the boss, you can look into popping a Frenzy, maybe a Giants, or if you want to go crazy, an entire Elixir rotation. The last thing we're going to talk about are at... What? Nani? Sorry. The last thing we're going to talk about are add-ons and crystals. So we're going to go to the skill instructor. Typically what you want for the boss rushes are going to be all self-buffing skills or regen skills so i'd recommend things like crit rate attack speed 
for this, we could go with plus DP, maybe some HP recovery. Essentially, you just want buffs that are going to affect your character because the bosses cannot be debuffed. So you want all self buffing or healing add-ons. Next thing we're gonna look at are the crystals. In terms of the crystals, this is gonna be my boss rush set currently. I have a lot of monster damage, attack speed, overall AP, and then I stack back attack damage. Back attack is going to be the most important and the most crucial stat for these fights. All right, now that we have our buffs, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and open up the Black Shrine again. We're going to choose our difficulty level, and then we're going to hit start. All right, now that we're back in the pig's cave, there's just one more thing to do before we start our boss fight. We're going to open the Black Shrine once again, and we're going to go to Manage Aura. This is going to be the most important thing you do before fighting a boss. 90% of your damage comes from these auras, with only 10% of it coming from your actual gear. That way, even if you're a new player or a veteran player or somewhere in between, you can get into the boss fights and enjoy them to the fullest. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look on the left here, Golden Pig King. He is Sun Aura. So that means he's weak to the sun damage. We're going to go ahead and click on sun. Go ahead and add all the light orbs that you have. And then you also have bonus additional stats. So you can see here. Going from no auras, we have 50 AP and 100 DP. Max Light Orbs puts you at 300 AP, 600 DP with an additional 18 stats. So with these 18 stats, I'm going to put them into damage because that's how we do it here in North America. Just full attack power, ape all over the boss. All right, just hit apply. Make sure those are set. And then you can see here we have the bonus stats in the Sun Aura category. As you can see, we're a little beat up and bloody after you taking down the Pig King, but it's time to collect our rewards. So after you're done killing the boss, there's two different rewards that you can get. The first one is going to be through your Black Shrine. Now, these rewards are actually weekly, so they pop up at the end of the week. They'll be in here for NA. It's going to be five PST on Saturday for EU. I believe it's midnight. You'll be able to collect your rewards in here based on the ranking that you got throughout the week. So as you can see, there's ranking per class and then it's also based on calamity level. So you can see no one's beat this boss yet on calamity level seven on level six. There's been five people to do it this week. So the higher your rank, the better the reward bundle at the end of the week. Now, if you're looking for the first time clear reward, that's going to be in your adventure log bookshelf. We're going to go down here to the bottom left boss storybook land of the morning light. Each one of these books represents the calamity level. So if you defeat a boss calamity level one, you'll grab, grab your first time clear here all the way up to level seven. So for example, I've cleared most of the sevens. You click here, you'll get a boss reward right away and it will be rank one. Keep in mind that you guys only have five total clears per week, meaning you can only get five successful clears. That being said, if you guys are looking for something to do or you want to improve your overall ranking, you can go back to a boss that you've already cleared that week and clear it a second time in order to improve your time. Last but not least, you might be wondering what is in the bundles? What kind of loot am I going to look forward to? What are the rewards? If you highlight the bundle here, you can see exactly what you're going to get based on your level. So the top section are all items that will drop. The bottom section are all of the RNG items. So you can get anything from a brand new pair of Dawn gloves. You can get some of the new crystals. You can get the item to make a Debereka earring and everything in between. Overall, these rewards are unique to the boss fights. So it's important that you get in your five weekly kills every single week. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for this video. In the future, I will be uploading an entire series on every single boss and the unique mechanics each one has. So if you guys are struggling with bosses, 
you guys need a little bit of help or you're interested in a boss and you want to learn the fight we will have a series coming out that'll cover all of that if you guys have any other questions or comments make sure you leave them down below also one last reminder from today's date july 11th 2023 until august 16th 2023 you can use the code vert at checkout to help support your boy when you're getting pearls and or any bdo packages thank you guys so much for your support i hope you guys enjoyed the video and for now i'm out peace